Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to share with you um, one of the techniques that I use to append multiple children um, to a parent element inside the JavaScript document object model. So um, to demonstrate this, uh, we're going to actually use an unordered list element and then we're going to use um, this technique to actually append multiple list items to that unordered list element. Okay, so let's hop inside the source code for this document um, and actually create a new unordered list element. Okay, so let's type out ul um, and give it an ID of something like my dash list. All right, um, so now as I said, we're going to be using um, this technique to append multiple list item um, elements to this unordered list. Okay, so um, inside the JavaScript, um, we can actually start off by creating a function which will generate list item elements for us. Okay, so um, let's just make a new function down here and give it a name of something like creates list item. Okay, this will take in some text as an argument. All right, um, for the function body, um, we can just uh, creates an actual list item element. Um, we're going to be using the VAR um, variable declaration just for backwards compatibility with all the um, browsers. Okay, so let's make a new variable and give it um, a name of ally equal to uh, document dot create element. Okay, we're going to make a list item element to so pass an ally into there. Okay, so now we can simply just say ally dot text content um, is equal to the text that was passed in to the function. Okay, and then we can return ally. So that one right there is just going to generate. Um, it's going to generate a list item element um, as a helper. Okay, so we can just say up here. We'll put a comment and we'll say creates this a list item element. Okay, with some text inside there. Okay, so now we have this function, we can easily create list item elements. Okay, so let's now create a function that will append um, multiple childs or append children to a parent element. Okay, so down here, let's define a new function and we'll call this one append children. Okay, so this function is going to take in two arguments. The first one being the actual parent element. In our case, it's going to be this unordered list element. Uh, and the second one, so parent, and the second one will be an array of children. In our case, it's going to be an array of list item elements. So we can put children inside there. All right. Inside the function body, we can then simply loop over um, each of these child elements and then append it to the parent element. So we can type out children dot for each. Okay, so for each child, um, we can run this function. We'll pass in the child right there. All right. For the function body, we can simply, as I said, we're going to say parents dot append child. So using the native append child method and pass in child inside there. Okay, so um, that's all for that function. We're simply passing in a parent and an array of children, and then we're going to loop through the array, and then for each child, we're going to append that child to the parent element. Okay, so it's like a wrapper for the append child um, method. Okay, so we now have both of our functions defined. All right. Um, we can now get a reference to the unordered list element. So down here, let's make again a new variable. Um, we'll call this one my list is equal to uh, document dot gets element by ID. We're going to pass in the my list ID inside there. Okay. Um, so now, just to demonstrate, if I was to console dot log my list save this and refresh the browser in the console we get that list right there 
Okay, so back inside the code, let's now um, define an array which contains all of the list items to append to the unordered list element. So down here, let's make a new variable and we'll call this one items equal to an array. Okay, so inside this array, we're going to call this create list item function to easily generate some list item elements. Okay, so inside here, let's type out create list item and pass in some text such as DOM. Okay, we can do the same thing twice more. We can just pass in Alex and then maybe John. All right, so now we have um, three list item elements which will be appended to this my list element. Okay, so we can now simply just say append children. We're going to pass in the parent, so that'll be my list in this case, and then we're going to pass in the items. All right. We can save this and refresh the browser and we get our desired result. Okay, so just to recap, we are um, we define a function which generates some list items, okay, or one list item, and then we have an append children um, function which will take in an a parent and take in an, um, an array of children. And then for each child in that array, it's going to append that child to the parent element. And then we are defining the parent right there and also defining an array of child elements. Okay. And then we're simply just passing that into the append children function. Okay. So that's one way. Um, an easier way in some cases is to actually ignore this entire function um, and just simply loop over all of the items um, manually. Okay, so instead of this, all right, I can simply just do this. I can say items dot for each. So for each item, we're going to once again pass in a function. This time, we'll call this one li to actually match the context. Okay, and now we can say my list dot append child and pass in ally. So this is basically the same thing as the actual function, um, but this time, um, you know, sometimes you might just feel like doing it like this. Um, the function might be a bit of a hassle. So um, that's also a way you can do it. Uh, if I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get the same result. Okay, so that right there is one way you can append multiple children using JavaScript. So um, this is basically, I think, um, the most compatible way across all the browsers, um, you know, using um, the ES5 syntax, um, VAR. Um, you can, of course, use const or let, uh, but obviously just transpile that into, um, you know, a compatible version of JavaScript. All right. And that is how you can append multiple children using the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.